Hey guys, Adam with Aeroworks Productions, and today we're going to be talking about a really cool special product for the Inspire One drone, and this is specifically designed for those people who are interested in a payload drop system. Maybe you're in search and rescue, or maybe you just want to drop packages. This particular product came to us all the way from Sylvania, so it came a long ways to get to us. We're going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing. We're going to show you the tools that you need and what you're going to need to do the installation. So let's get started. We're going to start right now. All right, guys, this product that we're going to introduce today is made by the Skysmere Corporation, and it's called the Stork. And basically what it is is a very high-quality, high-machined uh, product that allows you to put a drop system on the legs of your Inspire. And the way that it's activated, unlike a lot of other ones that require additional batteries or servos, is that the transitioning of the legs opening, opens and closes the hook. So it allows you to put a ring on there, a string on there, whatever you want to lift your payload with, transition the gear, and because of the design of the legs, it will open and allow that payload to drop. So there's a few things you're going to need to get started. Obviously, you're going to need your Inspire drone. Now you want to make sure you have a battery in there, you want to make sure you have your props off. You're going to also need your Inspire One radio because we're going to have to transition the gear. We're going to go ahead and do that now. The gear needs to be in the down position to transition or to install the system. All right, and you can go ahead and shut it back off once you've transitioned the gear. We'll set this out of the side. Now what's included in the system is three pieces. You have each leg hook system, you have a small Allen key, and then you have a set of instructions to install it. Again, very high quality in the build, machined aluminum, similar to like a scope ring, and then you have a what looks to be a stainless steel uh, shaft that's precisionly bent and attached to the rings. Now the idea behind this is that you have a hook system that can intertwine and hold your payload, and then when you transition the gear, this will open up and drop your payload. Now they do have detailed instructions and they also say that it is only for those who are flying the X3 camera. So if you went out and bought a new X5 Pro camera or you have the Inspire Pro, um, you would not be able to install that because of the additional bracketry on the bottom to support the X5 and where these pins end up mounting, it would probably be in the way. But a lot of you guys that have pros also have the X3 camera, so there may be an option for you to still mount it if you choose to. But we know there's a lot of Inspire ones out there with the X3 and a lot of people that are using them for search and rescue, fire rescue and things like that. So this should be a great product for those. So we'll go ahead and get mounting it, following the instructions here, and we'll come back and we'll give this thing a test. All right, now the first step is to place the bottom bracket on the bottom of the Inspire One arm. You wanna make sure that seats all the way. Now these screws have a split washer on them for security, so that there is no mention of using Loctite or anything of that nature. You do only wanna do these hand tight. You don't want to over tighten them initially because we may have to reposition these. So the first thing you want to do is just get the screws on there and get the bracket in position. Now the distance that this bracket should be away from the plastic arm is the width of the Allen key. So if you slide this up until it's touching there, that is the approximate distance from the Allen key that you should be away. Now again, we don't want to over tighten, we don't even want to tighten it up too much because we are going to have to move this to make that final alignment. All right, now we are going to simply repeat the same steps we did on the first side with the second side. By placing the bracket on the bottom of the arm, making sure it fits snugly. Now since you have the first bracket on there, you can line up the forks on the bottom and then mount your top clamps on, again, only loosely because we may have to make some final adjustments. Get the screws started in there. And 
And again, they do have a split washer, so there's no need to put Loctite or anything like that on here. Let's check that final distance here. Again, we want a little bit of overlap with our clamp on the bottom, so they've given you the ability to adjust that space using the wrench. And then we will continue to snug these down. You want to make sure anytime you have a clamp of this sort that you're actually tightening evenly on both sides. Do a couple turns, check the gap on both sides before you just crank one down all the way and then do the other one. You want to do equal pressure on both sides. Once you start to feel it snug up, check the other side, snug it up a little bit, and repeat until it, it feels nice and snug. Now right now our bracket is on there. We can still move it and we want to make sure that this is fairly lined up under the arm here so any small tweaks may be necessary. Now the idea is that the two forks, the split one and the single one, will be fairly centered and if you do need to make any adjustments you can do that as you tighten it up. We'll go ahead and start to tighten the second bracket here just kind of get a little bit snugger and keeping an eye on that spacing down there you want these to be right in the middle of each other not bumping against each other so you don't want them touching. Once you feel you've got the positioning right you can go ahead and start to tighten down equally again on both sides of the clamp so you don't want to over tighten one side you want to do them equally and snug those up finger tight. You don't need to over tighten this again this is just a, a clamp bracket snug snug finger tight and then you can do your final tightening on the opposite side and again, finger tight. If you, if you have to do more than what your finger can do, you're probably over tightening it. Now if you have succeeded, your payload drop system will operate as such. Alright guys, well we hope you found the video informative. And if you're interested in the product, please check it out at www.hardcoredrones.com. We hope to have it available in our store soon. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us or leave a comment down below. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to the video. And as we have more videos coming out all the time, both product reviews and instructional. And for those of you who are concerned with the uh, stork not fitting in your case, it fits just fine in the factory case or any of the GPC cases. So thanks again, guys. Again, it's Adam with Aeroworks and HardcoreDrones.com.